bit of YouTube, welcome to this video. In today's episode, we're about to scale this massive hill and go up Kinparney Tower, which is maybe hard to see because of where the sun is today in this direction, but it's on top of the hill, just about there. This is the new tile to Glam's Road here we're walking along, because the path up to the tower is along at this farm. So we've made it off the main road here and we've come through the farm and there's, it's well signposted. This must be called the Den, this small piece of forest here. I'm pretty sure last time I walked up Kinparney Tower it was a total mission. So I was thinking it'll be quite warm, the sun's shining again today. But it's still the cool morning air right now so we should be all good. There's all these unusual fenced off bits here at the side. It's like an old dike there along the side. I think also there's a little waterfall somewhere to see along this path. So it's like at one time they've been controlling the water here, potentially for that little mill at the farm. This must be their old mill pond here. You can see the stone outline running around and this must have been the overflow here. Flowing down into the stream there. So there's a cool little bit of history. All these little streams are coming from different directions here, and they're all joining up. So it's quite unique here to have a stream on both sides of the path. It's quite cool. I'm just thinking potentially this stream where it splits in two will be man made for that mill pond that we saw a minute ago there. And that'll be the original stream flowing just around this way here. So here's one of the cool waterfalls here. It's just a rocky waterfall, it's a gradual slope. The water just trickles down it there. It's hard to see with the angle of the sun. Probably in heavy rain conditions, that'll look pretty cool. So here's more cool waterfalls here, it looks like sandstone bedrock here. This waterfall just weaves down through the trees here. This is a spot here folks, I had to come for a closer look. There's a little rock pool here at the bottom of these falls. There's a cooler little waterfall at the top. The rocks here are so slippy. I'll have to be cautious going back. I might be able to just nip up through the trees here actually. So many midges here, it's unreal. The midges love 
flying about around those watery conditions there. Here's a cool little waterfall down here. It's hard to see. What a cool spot. This little waterfall here looks epic. Little spots like that are hidden gems. Amazing little locations just hidden in the middle of nowhere, carved by nature. So in last week's video we saw a lot of fungus at the Reiki Lin Path and today we'll continue this trend here because look that's another different type of fungus strange looking thing it seems to be living on that dead tree trunk so I think this could be the area where the path goes out onto the hill Another waterfall right there. It's just continuous waterfalls from the top of the hill to the bottom. That's the first spot for having a rest if you can't manage the whole walk in one go. So I thought that was just a way to come out of the wood, but actually it's not. We're still in the forest here. So this Kinparney Tower that we're going to today was built in the 1770s as an observatory for looking at the stars, I believe by the former landowner in that period but it's quite a cool tower if you think how long ago 1770 was or 1776 it was somewhere around there it was built but all the years that have passed since then the thing just remains up on the hill which is incredible here's a little path down here, it could be another waterfall amazing so it looks here like we'll have to cross this very trust trustworthy looking bridge. Stronger than it looks, I think. This looks like it's the stairs out of the forest here. so overgrown over the hill at this time of the year there. It's like a jungle of ferns.
it's always important to close the gate folks stops the sheep going down the pen here we are we're out onto the wild hilltop at least there's a path which makes it not so wild the view once we got up here is incredible you can see a little bit through there but that's nothing compared to one shot at the top of here you can see this monument from all around all directions we've come a lot higher on the hill now I've gotten a lot warmer you can see the tree line where is the tree line? over there that we came out of you can see the little village of New Tile in the distance over there there's a bit of a heart of the day in the sky with a low cloud so we can't see as far as what we would have there's still no sight of the tower yet this whole bit of the hill here has been replanted with trees so there will be a forest here one day which will be pretty cool how big do the trees have to be before it's classed as a forest? it's actually a forest now isn't it? plantation here's another gate Now I'm higher on the hill here, there's a cool breeze which is really helping the situation. It's just so warm walking up here. The path's so steep and it's just constant. And I was keeping a fast pace. So the cool breeze is welcome, like I say. I'm going to try and do this with one hand folks, is it possible? Secured. Nice sheep's getting into town today. Up the high street. I can't actually see any sheep up here though, but there is evidence of them. normally higher on the hills like this it's not so overgrown because the weather conditions are more extreme stronger winds heavier rain so there's no normally so many like ferns and stuff like that up here here we go then folks See the Kilparney Tower now finally up ahead. It's been a total mission coming up this hill. It's a lot more windy here now, so I hope the audio's no too bad. What a view! So as we get nearer to it, this must have been the little gate bit at one time. Whereas now, there's no fence here anymore. The tower's impressive up here on the hill, considering all the weather. I think we can get inside it. So it's got this cool battlements at the top. Cool little 
stone stair up to what would have been a big door. See, originally, maybe the floor height would be at this height here. So the windows here would have been at the floor height too. From the outside it looks like one height, but I'm pretty sure I've been told that this was originally built at one height and then it was extended in height after that. But I'm not sure. This is the old chimney in this corner from the fireplace. at the top of the battlement up there. I think that's what you call it, a battlement. Yeah, it's hard to say what they had in here. Like. I don't think this would have been a stairway in here because it's too small and also the window of stairs coming up in front of the window. Maybe just been, you can imagine maybe a statue or something in the corner of a piece of artwork. Also, another thing I've noticed, it looks like up here, there's been stairs running up there, probably up to that floor there, and that's maybe been a that floor there where they had the, like, their stuff for looking up at the stars, kind of this satellite dishes and whatever they had back in 1700. Telescopes. You can normally see a lot further when it's not foggy like this. Not too foggy, but because we're so high on the hill, and we're seeing so far, you can see the har, which is probably coming in all the way through the sea. It's just through the har, I can make out the tops of hills on the horizon. So after standing here and studying the building, the way it's built with these bricks, you can see also at this side there's been a slope here. So this wasn't actually the remains of where the stairway went across. That was the original wall. The roof angle would have come down here from this peak up here. And that would have come right down. And then you can see the original wall along here. It ends at that line there, which lines up with both of those peaks. And this whole other castle bit has been built onto at one time to make it more grand. So I'm not sure if they had like some sort of thing on the roof that they went up on, uh, or if maybe that roof opened. But that'll be the reason that the fireplace in this other unit, corner unit, we'll call it if it's either. After studying this as well, I've noticed that there would have been shelves here. If you can see the remains. I believe this is some sort of plaster sort of stuff, and you can see how the shelves have been in there the whole way up. So there's maybe been some unique artifacts there from all around the world, or from all around here, who knows. People travelled around at that time as well. So. It's interesting to hear, look. Actually, before we do, a cool thing I noticed, somebody's actually written at one time. Honda. Which is cool. Because I came here in a Honda. I didn't come up the hill on a Honda, but I got to the bottom of the hill I need, so it's cool somebody has... Somebody's been flying the flag of a Honda there. See, there's actual metal pieces sticking out the wall up here. Just noticed in 1972. It looks like it's been freshly scratched in again, so compared to all this, so... I'm not 
not sure. Maybe somebody they visited the site and re scratched it. There's writing in every brick. You could probably find some really old ones. This looks like 1950, but it's hard to actually see. Could that be 1950? It's hard. It's hard to see. That looks like 1915, but you, you can't really tell. outside the door, you wouldn't believe the seal drips are there. But it's okay folks, we can deal with it. Look at this view behind me, it's incredible. There's one of these plaque things over here, it tells you the which hills are in each direction around this 360 here. But today, it's not really any higher there, so we won't actually be able to see the hills. Yeah, we can hardly actually read it. Cairn Gorm, it says there. That's where I was a couple of weeks ago in my episode. Went over the Cairn Mount, through the Cairn Gorms. Kelly Muir is over this direction here, so that gives you an idea, that's like Angus that direction, Dundee over this way, and then Cairn Mount over this way. Over this further direction, that would be Perth, over that way, to the west, and this other point here is a trig point. But I think the last episode we saw a trig point in a BKR video would have probably been the top of the cars and when I was getting attacked by those beacons. This one's got writing on it. This old stone face here has been built on. The old stone foundation. That would have been laid in the 1770s when this was built. But just imagine these these stones. Just think of the things they've seen over the years. Maybe not much up here right enough. But when this place is in the prime, it's getting used a lot. head back down this path, see what else we can find. It was cool to see this monument and document it once again. I did a video years ago here when I first started my channel, but that was before I even talked on the videos or anything like that, so I thought I would revisit it. Kinparney Tower. I think locally Kinparney spell N-E-Y, but when I look on an Ordnance Survey map, it's spelled N-I-E, so who knows the correct spelling? Get in the comments. It would be cool if they put like a couple of picnic benches up here or something. It would be a cool little spot. If it's actually down in this hollow here, the wind's not so strong. But I actually can... This bit of ground is just used for sheep, so the farmer's no worries about having a picnic bench there. He probably doesn't want people walking up here at all, really. So walking back down this path will be a lot easier than when I came up. The rain's also gone off again. I think if there was a rain shower coming, I'd be able to see it.
These are the shed wall hells we're walking over there, I think. The shed wall hells run right along uh, over where that. You won't even be able to see the phone mast, but top of that hell's over there. Right the way down, the opposite way that we were looking. On a clear day, I'm pretty sure you can see Dundee off that direction as well. It's just, it's just a shame that I chose a day that was a bit har, I will call it. It's not quite foggy, I wouldn't have said, but we'll say har. Right, I'll continue this journey down the hill, folks. I'll update you when we get down to something more interesting. I'm not even sure what time it'll be now. I'll have a look. I think it'll still be AM. Eleven forty nine AM folks and we've done it. We've already done the mission. A lot of people will still be lying in the bed with a hangover for you last night. Doing nothing. I can see the wood. I'm pretty sure that's the forest down there we need to get to, so it's probably a mile I would say. So it's not too bad. Considering it's all downhill, we're sorted. I would say from the main road, probably up to the monument, I would say it's probably one and a half mile to two mile potentially on the path, because the path zigzags all around the place. Maybe if you came in the winter, you could walk as the crow flies up this hill, because there's no long bushes. So this is another resting point here on the hill, which I'm not going to use, because you're down here coming down the hill, surely. Once I go over the brow of this hill here, I'm pretty sure we can't see the monument anymore. Well, it's near a monument, is it? A tower. When you're high up on a hill like this, everything looks tiny. New tile looks so small down there. Most fields around here now are all combined. The next thing farmers are getting into now is tatties, or potatoes as it's known to most of the world. Tatties if you're fair around here. Some of the fields I can see over here, they're just full of bales. Just looks like little specks. Here's this gate, folks. One-handed. Countryside code, always close gates behind you. If I find a gate left open, so I'm not going to close it because it could be the farmer that left it open, that's another thing. So maybe the countryside codes leave the gate as you find it. That's what it should be. I can see a boy down here on a John Deere. Just try to see. Don't know what he's doing. So I've made it back into the forest. These little paths are epic.
some of this wood on this little bridge feels a bit spongy like when they crossed it I think it's rotten I think you hit a walk light footed over it There's more of that strange fungi. Strange white fungus on the tree there. So here's a cool bit of history next to the path. An old pipe. It comes from what I was calling the mill pond earlier. And it runs down towards the farm so it must have been their water supply or some sort of power supply at one time. There's all these little stone waterways at one time must have redirected water. So that's been a cool explore today. And it was worth seeing all these little waterfalls in the tower. So I'll end, I'll end the video here at this cool little waterfall and we'll see you in the next one.